If you want to jump in headfirst and learn the details later, the quick start will cover the basics and start your experience on PolicyMap. To get started, you need to set a location by typing in an address, city, zip code, or county. For best results, always use a zip code if it is available. If you specifically work with census tracts, select the census tract tab, choose the state, type in the county, and add your six-digit tract number. Once you set a location, you can begin to add data by selecting a category, then filtering down to the subcategory you want to view. Some subcategories are only available to subscribers. The map title gives a brief description of the current data layer, and the Details button next to the title will provide a more detailed description. While the map will show a shaded comparison between places, you can see the exact value of an area by clicking on the shaded area. Once a data layer is loaded, the legend allows you to toggle between any available years and change the variable, for example, the percentage change or number. The legend will also show the value for ranges displayed on the map and allow you to increase or decrease the number of ranges displayed. The source of the current data layer and the geography at which you see the data is shown in the example. Subscribers have the ability to create their own cut points for each range in the legend. Click Edit Ranges and begin customizing the range values. Click Apply to update the map and Restore Defaults to return back to normal. Add Sites allows you to add point data to the map. Federal Housing displays locations of HUD Multifamily, Public Housing, Nursing Facilities, and USDA Multifamily. Hospitals displays hospital locations. Environment has Superfund sites. School contains public, private, and secondary school locations. Subscribers have access to school performance data in this menu. Premium subscribers can see their own data, but some premium subscriber data sets are public. Once you add sites, you can click on any data point to display additional information for the address. Finally, when you have a map with your location, data layer, adjustments from the legend, and any sites added, you can save and print your work. Saving will save your maps to My Policy Map, while printing will also save to My Policy Map and give you the option to print a PDF or JPEG.